I am Pratik Desai, and I'm here with my very good friend and one of the brightest minds in all of cellular networking. Thank you for the kind introduction. I'm a senior TME on Meraki product. And we are both here to talk to you about uh, creating 5G connected experiences anywhere. Without further ado, let's talk about networking. So one of the issues that we often face with connectivity uh, comes with the WAN connection itself. And the fact of the matter is that wired broadband is not the ideal solution for all scenarios, especially for businesses, whether you're a small coffee shop or a large enterprise. Wired connections take a long time to get started. In the event that there is construction going on and a line happens to break, God forbid, it takes a long time to get that back up and running. It's costly to manage multiple wired connections, and depending on the service you are using, you might also have limitations on how much aggregate bandwidth you can use. So there is a lot of limitations with wired. We're now at this inflection point. 5G is at this point where it is viable for primary fixed wireless access. As you can tell the timeline, I mean, some of you have been some of the pioneers of early adoption of cellular technologies. I mean, going back to the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s, I mean, cellular is a wonderful technology because it enables ubiquity of connections. What is important about connections? When we at Cisco and Cisco Meraki believe that when we have more devices connected to a common network, we can do more and achieve more together. We move. However, even with cellular connections, there are still limitations with existing offerings that are out there today. What is the most common location for a cellular gateway or a modem? Just a wild kind of a guess, something you've seen. The cabinet is a very, very common scenario. We see where is another situation where you see a modem or a gateway, a cellular fixed wireless access point? Basement. That's also a really good one. So what happens when you have a cellular device pulling from a cellular signal indoors? Attenuation. So your signal will be obstructed and it won't be as powerful when you're indoors because you have concrete up top, uh, rebar and wood on the sides and carpeting, a lot of things that will potentially restrict your signal. And so what I'd like to introduce to you today for the first time in the history of Cisco Meraki, our first ever 5G cloud-managed cellular gateway, the Cisco Meraki MG51 and the MG51E. Folks, you are the first people on the planet to hear about this. This is the world's fastest and simplest way to scale robust, always on, 5G connected experiences quite literally anywhere. The idea here is that these devices will enable individuals, small businesses, and enterprises of all sizes to be able to create innovative experiences. Think about retailers that are opening downtown shopping experiences in shipping containers. Think about your food and beverage services that are opening locations on rooftops, basement speakeasies. Think about those stores that are creating immersive mixed reality experiences. 5G is now here to power all of these experiences and give customers the ability to interact with the brands they love, patronize the services that they want to use, and interact with the brands that they feel comfortable engaging with. I just so happen to have here with me the first unit of the MG51 that I'd like to pass around. This is a first ever unboxing of this device. And if you're familiar with Cisco Meraki, this device has beautiful, graceful bo boxing experience because it is designed for you to open it up, plug it in, and it powers on immediately. It has true zero touch provisioning. As soon as you pop in an activated SIM card, and as soon as you plug it in, this device instantly pulls its configuration profile from the cloud and runs quite simply immediately. Gone are the days of waiting for your wired broadband provider. Gone are the days where you have to call a technical staff to get you connected. Because this has 
robust capabilities and you can power it with a power adapter or power over ethernet, this is quite simply going to power the next phase of 5G connected experiences. I'm going to pass this around. Please share it with your colleagues. Leave the antenna in here, or the bracket right here. Do we have to return it, or is it a raffle? <laughs> Pass it around real quick. That's a good question. Yeah. Um, Doesn't come with license, right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Pass it around, and let's have a conversation. Yeah. What I want to encourage you guys is I'm going to hand it off to my friend Uni. Uh, so how many devices do you think we have in our Charlotte portfolio? Any guesses? Uh, so we have like six SKUs for different deployments starting with the MG21. So I started Meraki for, with MG21 as my first product, and I'm here with MG51 as my third product. And with 21, primarily, it was designed for a backup use case. And we felt like cellular was growing pretty fast where consumers were requesting higher speeds and wanted to use a gateway as a primary. And that's why we launched MG41. Still, consumers felt the bandwidth was not I mean, adequate enough for different use cases. And that's why here, we're introducing the MD51, a gateway which can truly do two gigabits, or se two gigabits per second of speed uh, download on a 5G spectrum. Um, so here, again, uh, as I said, also it does support what is, we, all, we call it as always on uh, connectivity. Basically, it comes up with two SIM cards. One of the SIM card goes or fails, or there's an outage with the carrier, automatically it switch, switches over to the next carrier instantaneously, or you can configure it via our dashboard. Uni, how many cellular towers exist in any 25 square mile radius on average? 50. That's incredible. So not only do we have dual carrier capabilities, we have the ability to fall back from 5G to 4G, but we also have nearly a dozen plus cellular towers. Yes. So there is absolutely a great backup in terms of one cellular tower failing and another coming up instantaneously. That's how the cellular technology is designed. Instant, uh, it, it, it's, it's a reason why cellular is right now considered as a primary instead of a backup. So let's start with MG51. Again, as you're seeing the device, it is IP67 rated. That means you can literally place this device indoors or outdoors. We also did a test with our engineering team, uh, how good this device is. So we took the device, we placed it into a fish tank a meter deep for 48 hours, and we took it out, it works. So it is designed for ruggedized temperatures. There are people using it in Sweden, specifically at minus 40 C, and also people using it at desserts. And one of the primary examples, as Pratik pointed out, we have a program called Cisco Gives, where we actually ship such gears to places where they need connectivity instantaneously, and it's impossible to get wired connectivity out there. MGs are actually deployed at such sites. All right, so with the MG51E enhanced the external antenna version, what users can do is literally point this device to a cellular tower, get a better reception. Compared to the internal one, you obviously you get a two to three gigabits of gain if you know where the cellular tower is. And this is where like managed services can really leverage the solution. On top of it, it also comes up with you know, DCR PoE power specifically for sites where, which does not have PoE, specific site would be like um, a place where there's a devastation. So DC power is still supported. And the beauty, of, I mean, the beauty of Meraki is just simplicity, right? We design a product. If you have an MG21 in your portfolio or 41 in your portfolio, all you need to do is just remove the device and 